Bronco. Bronco. Bronco sounds like such a weird word. I hate books of ours. Who reads books? Bronco? Bronco. I bought a Bronco. Billy Bob Bronco. My name's not Billy, but Billy Bob Bronco. There's a lot of bees, a lot of alliteration. Focus. Fuel. 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 Fuel is a weird word. Do people read their books? When you buy a new car, do you read the book? No, I don't. Before you venture off road, I won't probably do it. Oh, this is off road. Off road. Still off road. Where is what I'm looking for? Chat. We gonna see if I even know how to put gas in the car because oh, it's too much. Hi guys. Um, if you're new here, my name is Chelsea. If you're not new here, what's up? It's so good to see you back. Um, I realized, so if you're here and you're not used to my channel, it's very random. I talk about whatever I feel like talking about at the time. But I realized as I was vlogging a few days ago, I never addressed the fact that I bought a new car. So I'm just suddenly going to show up in a new vehicle. So I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys that I recently purchased a 20 23 Bronco Sport, the Outer Banks model. Uh, so originally, I've really loved the Bronco Sports for a very long time, and I really liked the two tone look that you get in the Outer Banks or above. It's possible to purchase, but I didn't actually buy a two tone version. I bought the Outer Banks, but I really decided that I wanted a black on black on black on black on black vehicle again because that's what I <laughs> I used to drive before my last maybe two cars all of my cars have been black because i really like the look of a black car i think that they're just so incredibly sleek and i like the big bronco and i like the baby bronco which is the bronco sport but i originally thought that i was gonna buy a big bronco and i actually found a place that wasn't selling them i would have to go to a different state which is only a state over i talked to them and all the things i found one that wasn't selling crazy over msrp actually they were selling at msrp because if you don't know right now <laughs> A lovely time in the car buying market but especially for broncos a lot of them are selling well above the actual msrp for the car um especially in my state like it's kind of ridiculous because they don't have many on uh, in stock and the ones that they're getting in are ones that have been custom built and people are already waiting on those so they're not ones that you can purchase uh or even <laughs> say you like to purchase because somebody already has them on order so i started looking more into the big bronco and i realized i test drove one I don't really like the drive as an everyday driver. To me, it just isn't what I was looking for. I still would like one at some point, but not as an everyday driver, if that makes sense. And in buying a new car, I was buying a new everyday driver because I was giving my RAV4 to my mom. So I used to drive a... <sighs> a Toyota RAV4 XLE. Um, it was a 2017 yeah uh rav4 it i still love it to this day but my mom was in the the market for a new car and i really didn't just want her to have to buy a new car I was like you know it makes more sense for me to buy a new car and i've never gone outside of the toyota world so i don't want to hear all the things about ford i've i've i know all the, i know i know right but this was still a decision that i was I, I just wanted i wanted a bronco uh but when i drove the big one i did realize that the the drive <laughs> the feel of the drive wasn't something that i would want to do every day and then the gas mile is pretty terrible for something that is going to be your daily driver so the alternative I still think the Bronco Sport is really cute it still has especially the grill the grill of the Bronco Sport is beautiful so then when I test drove one I was kind of sold but finding one that I wanted was again very hard so I wanted the I didn't want the Badlands because I don't plan to do much if any off-roading where you get a lot of the same stuff that you get in the badlands you still get on the outer banks except the badlands is lifted and has a couple of more additional options but in order to get the badlands model which wasn't really that important to me everywhere that i was looking you would have to lose the the leather trim and i wanted <clears throat> oh my god i wanted a more luxury feel in my suv right and so you're losing you're trading off for <laughs> for off-road capability for luxury right so i wanted the two-tone brown i think it's called 
ebony roast and coffee something i'm not i might be making that up entirely i could possibly be but i wanted the two town to well it's actually three town because it's black and brown leather and then there's a gray um so i really love the interior of the car i'm gonna put a few clips somewhere in here of the i'm gonna do like a, a quick tier uh, oh, a quick tour of the interior of the car so it took forever there were so many that were coming in with that at one point but again they were like either custom builds or they didn't have a sunroof and i don't know what it is about the bronco sport but it is so hard no matter what trim level you're looking for to find one that has a sunroof and i was not willing to get a car without a sunroof because i've always had sunroofs in my car i really enjoy them so i saw one come in to the actual automotive family that i bought my rav4 from it came onto their lot on a saturday and i called um but i didn't talk to any of the salesmen because i just didn't know if it was really something i was going to do that weekend and they're like yeah we, we got it on the lot blah 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 i went monday it was sold already uh and so i i got out and y'all know i'm a little ridiculous so i meet the salesman i'm like i can't believe you sold my car like he told me that he's like yeah and it was actually still sitting on the lot someone was getting ready to take y'all off the lot right there all the stickers everything were still on it so i was like yeah no that's the exact one i wanted he's like well we have like two more in stock i'm like no they're not black they don't have a sunroof and one of them was a bad land it's not what i'm looking for so i gave him my information it was actually already in their computer system since i purchased through that automatic automotive family before so he called me a few hours later and he was like, hey, actually, we have an exact car to that coming on a shipment. It is in transit. You can look at it right here on our site, which I didn't see it. He sent me a link and it was there. Um, it's in transit, but we don't have an exact date. Like, I can call you when it comes in and you can immediately come look at it. I can't guarantee unless you want to put a deposit down. So I went ahead and put the deposit down is what I'm saying. And it was about a week and a half later. My truck came in. I It had like six miles on it because just like taking off the trucks. I wanted it. Had to have it. So I bought the Ford Bronco. 2023 Ford Bronco Sport in the Outer Banks model and I have loved it. I've had it for like a month and a half now, so oops for putting this video out so late, but I have absolutely loved this truck. I love the drive of it. I love, most of the time I drive in an eco mode, but sport, sport mode, real fun, real fun. Now my RAV4 also had an eco mode and a sport mode, but those were the only two modes that it had. I'll show you in a little bit of the tour that the, the um, Bronco has a few more drive modes, especially the Outer Banks model. So yeah, um, yeah, it's so funny because even from 2017 to 2023, there's so many things that are, took a little bit of time to adjust to so many different settings and things on the car because my, my RAV4 didn't have like the auto shut off when you when you stop at like a red light it didn't have one of my favorite things on the bronco is that there's a setting that you can turn on and mine's pretty much always on that when you hit the brake like let's say you're at the bank because this is the last time i use it you're at the bank you're at the window you don't have to hold your foot on the brake you don't have to put your car on park like as soon as you hit the um the brake the brake stays engaged you can take your foot off and do whatever you need to do which is for me like riding stuff or whatever and your car just stays that's literally one of my favorite things like the heated seats and all that that's cool that's fun my rap also didn't have that in it because i don't remember why the xle model didn't at that time i don't remember but um and my car my, my rav4 didn't have apple carplay which i tend to use a lot so uh i just wanted to tell you guys <laughs> i bought a new car uh and i have absolutely loved it so if you see the broncos on the road and you think they're really cute they are they're cute on the inside too um especially if you get like the the upper trim model so i got the upper trim model and i got the like entertainment package and the extra speakers and all the things because i really enjoy music so yeah it's it's pretty loaded and I love it. So that's all. That's all folks like Bugs Bunny. Isn't that what wasn't that Bugs Bunny who said that? Anyway, so I think after this I'll go ahead and put the little quick tour of the video. And then I also have some footage of the first <laughs> the first time I took it to the car wash, which was hilarious because I knew that I needed to turn off like the auto shut off because it wouldn't go through, but I didn't remember to take the like brake thing off, and so it was just stuck. <laughs> Oh, the little conveyor belt thing for a while until the um the guy who was working there helped me. So, yeah, I uh I'm really loving it. So that's all. Okay. Not bye yet. Bye when you finish watching the video. But here's my bye for then. Bye. <laughs> all right. While we're in here, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Let me show you how cute this is. The startup thing. 
she's a cutie. Um, then you actually start it up. My seat's going into its position. I have just random things. Heated seats, heated steering wheel. Um, mine's gonna go to CarPlay right now because my phone is hooked up. Um, I have a few goat modes. So you'll see, I have normal, eco, sport, <laughs> uh, slippery, slippery when wet, and sand. I usually keep it in eco. So, at night this car also has ambient lighting, but you're not gonna be able to see that because it's not dark. Oh, my sunroof, had to get the sunroof. Uh, the interior. Y'all, get into the freaking interior. It's like my favorite part of the car. Um, the leather, the leather of it all. This is just a quick overview. Oh, and you'll see it has the Broncos embroidered into the seats. Um, so yeah, um, this is this these settings are pretty interesting. This is actually a parking brake. This thing, if you press it, whenever you like are at a stop, so instead of having to hold your foot on the brake, you can take your foot off the brake if this is engaged and it'll actually hold the car. Um, so that's just a couple of random, not random, that's a couple of like my favorite parts of the car. Also, my leather wrapped steering wheel with the Bronco on it. Yeah, she's cute. She's really cute. Not gonna lie to y'all, I love her. I love her interior. I'm just gonna show you guys her again. And I'll show her from the outside at some point. Oh, I know what else I forgot to say. This wireless charger comes in clutch um, when I don't have it hooked up to Apple Play and I'm just using the sync system. The I have my wireless charger here, so. Yeah, that's the baby Bronco. That's the baby Bronco! Girl, shut up. Select an option from the list on the screen. Select an option. Oh, that's great. Baby friend. Why can't we be friends? Uh, what's the difference? Why can't we be friends? Y'all are in the car wash with me for the first time. <gasps> in the Bronco. Oh, I forgot I hate these. Why did I do this? Can you guys tell that it's lighting up? It's lighting up. I feel like I'm in a club. Boom, chicka, chicka, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, chicka, chicka, boom. That's a little aggressive. I've never noticed how aggressive this is in my other vehicles.
spanking new car I just want to say that I got stressed out when it grabbed my tail far though okay <laughs> <laughs> 